Well, welcome to the Hawthorns, and I tell you what, there's a bit of an extra buzz about this place today. I've just walked past the East Stand, and it's absolutely erupted. There's cheers in the background again. Coventry City have just scored a 99th minute winner against the Wolves. Hey, welcome back to the Hawthorns. Today we take on Bristol City, 3 p.m. kickoff. In front of our sold out Hawthorns, and I tell you what, it's really good to be back. I've missed quite a few Albion games in the last few weeks. Uh, due to illness but I'm really looking forward to this one today the Albion are going really well at the moment the playoffs is looking increasingly likely each week the team's playing really well the fans are fully behind the team but we've got a very difficult test today as we take on Bristol City the Robins who currently sit mid-table <laughs> Uh, been to the club shop, bought myself an absolute beauty of a West Brom retro shirt. Uh, but team news is out. Good news, Connor Townsend is back. Uh, he's been out here injured the last few weeks. Uh, good to see him back in, in the starting 11. Um, Eric Peters uh, comes in for Kyle Bartley. He's dropped to the bench. And it's that fantastic front four of Jed Wallace, Mickey Johnson, Grady Diangana, and Tom Fellows. Even though there's not a recognised centre forward amongst them four, it really is a fantastic threat going forward. Obviously, Andy Vyman can't play today as uh, we're playing against Bristol City. He is on loan from Bristol City, so no involvement for him today. But Taylor Gardner-Hickman starts for the Robins today. It'll be interesting to see how he's uh, getting on. I quite liked him at the Albion, obviously one of our own. Always was a fan of him, but it's probably the right decision to let him go in the summer. What are you picking for today, mate? I'll say 3-1 to the Albion. Who do you reckon going to score? Johnson. Johnson, yeah. Kid Ryan. Two one Albion. Two one Albion. Both Johnson. Two one Albion. Two one Albion. Johnson and Wallace. Give us a minute. Come on, you baggies. Come on, you baggies. Come on, you baggies. Fantastic saves. Uh, first 25 minutes or so, Albion have uh, probably been the better side, had a lot more of the ball, uh, but we've got to watch that. Bristol City uh, hit us on the counter. to the Albion here just before half time Tom Fellows with the goal fantastic team goal that all came uh, once again from Mickey Johnson cutting in on his right foot uh, I thought he was going to have a very similar goal to uh, Huddersfield last week um, Johnson took it every touch it fell to you costly uh, we had to move on to Tom Fellows but a uh, brilliant finish Albion uh, take the lead just before half time <laughs> half time 1-0 to the Albion um, I thought we were going to struggle to, uh, to break Bristol City down. Uh, they're, they're not a bad side at all. They've set up really well, really tight and compact. Uh, it's been difficult to break them down. Albion have had to be patient. We've had a lot of the ball, uh, but Bristol City look uh, like a good team. They're working hard for each other. Uh, we, we've got to watch them on the counter-attack as well. But a brilliant team goal right at the end of that half and a fantastic time to score it as well.
2 0 to the Albion. Shed Wallace with the goal. Uh, absolutely buzzing for him. I've been a bit critical of him in recent weeks, but uh, I'm glad he's got that goal. Uh, fantastic play from the Albion as well. Uh, brilliant uh, composure and ball into the box from Connor Townsend. And Garner's going off now for John Swift. Had a good day, just missed a one on one situation uh, a few moments ago. Uh, but a standing ovation for the Alvin crowd, crowd for Brady. Because Lou just had a very good effort on goal as well, um, nearly scored two screamers in two weeks. Another good save there from Alex Farmer. Not a bad effort from outside the box. Uh, Bristol City knocking the last five minutes or so. It's a full time West Bromwich Albion 2, Bristol City 0. And I think in the end that was quite comfortable for the Baggies. Bristol City pushed the last 20 minutes or so to try and get back into the game. But I think overall, over the 90 minutes, Albion were, were the better side and deserved the win. You know, Bristol did have their moments. They had that one-on-one -on -one opportunity in the first half. Alex Palmer made himself big and pulled off a great save. They had a few good efforts from outside the box. They hit the bar twice. I thought they set up well in the first half. Uh, they was very tight and made it very difficult for Albion to break them down. Albion had to be patient. But I just think Albion's quality showed over the 90 minutes. Those two wide men Albion have got now of Mikey Johnson and Tom Fellows is really difficult for opposition defences to handle. When Mikey Johnson cuts in from that right-hand side, it is really dangerous. Yukuslu and Moet were great again today as well. And I also thought that Jan Mavilla, when he came on, looked solid as well. I can't really fault any of the Albion players today. It was good to see Connor Townsend back playing for the Albion again. I thought he had a solid enough game. Uh, did really well for the Albion second goal. Darnell Furlong's really starting to build up some good form as well. But it was a great afternoon at the Hawthorns. It always is when the Albion win. Uh, fair play to the Bristol City fans that travelled. A good away support. Made some good noise as well. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give the video a like. And subscribe to my channel if you are new. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Up the Albion.